stand by for a start. Gates crash, and they're racing in the Melbourne Cup. A pretty good line away too. Ash Run immediately sneaks back to the end with Sir Dragon A. Val and Declare jumped well with Twilight. Well, here we are. Uh, this is Coralie, and I'm Jim from Country Contacts. Now, I supplied Coralie with a swarm of bees. Was it a month ago? About a three weeks. Three weeks ago. And Coralie's one of those customers that bought Flow Hive. She's put it together, you'll see in a minute, very, very prettily painted. Today we're going to put the super on, even if they may not be ready for it. But in behind me here is the race course and lots and lots of uh, flowers. I think they'll soon stack on the weight. It's going to be interesting to pull the top off the bottom box. So this is our first inspection after three weeks. It'll be interesting to see how much progress they've made on the, on the frames that Flow Hive supplied with the little cleats. When I dropped off the bees, they were on drawn comb, two frames. So there's another six frames there that, that are just the cleats. So that'll be interesting in itself. Um, it's a very hot and blustery day here, but we've decided to go ahead with it. It's so hard to plan these things. It's hard to um, reschedule, so we, we're going to go ahead with it. Um, Coral, Coralie's a little bit nervous. She's suited up like like a hazmat person. <laughs> She's probably even got a fly swat in the back pocket, I reckon. Uh, but I don't expect any trouble from the bees. They're, they're pretty quiet and... They'll be just, they'll be just st stressed out enough hanging on with their little legs so they don't get blown away. Is that, what, what would you call it, a southerly? Oh, yes, yeah, probably southwesterly. Yeah. Yes, yeah. But it's, um, it's not going to ease up, so we're going to get into it. All right, we'll move over to a um, pretty, um, pretty little hive here, and we'll see what we've got. So that's interesting. So the, this is the outside one, yes. but that one they had, that is also the outside one. They've built on that, but they haven't built on the, the easter, yeah. easterly side. I'm just going to tap these That'll in. That'll probably be the warmest side. That's right. Yeah. Sack with horse poo. Yeah. Oh. oh, look how much frame mm. they've built. Oh. So this oh, is how a, exciting is that? It's good, isn't it? And and look, they've put brood in it as well. Oh, so cool. they've not so, only so they've not only built that in three weeks. They've put brood, put brood in, in it. Oh, that's wonderful. So what's what's happened here? This is one of the outside frames. In three weeks, they've built that comb, and they've got brood in there. They've got young larvae on both sides, so they're doing really well. They've done a good job, haven't they? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. See those ones that are raised up? Yes. They're drone brood. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're the so males. Is that they're the males. Yeah. So that's not too many. No, no, no. no. They, they know what they're doing. doing. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Same thing. Lots of brood. And the next one. 
Oh, I can't believe this. It's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> So they start in the centre because that's where the, the cluster is initially, yes. you know, and that, they get their warmth from that. Oh, Still, oh, oh. oh dear. Whoa. That's a close call. Yeah. It's very fragile at this point. It's very, very fragile. So now we... Getting closer to... Now we're down to the... These are the two original frames. Yes. So it's held together by rubber bands. bands yes. I can't see the queen. Just yet. She's generally towards the middle, isn't she? Oh, no, she could be anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes up on the lid and there's a, there's a pollen stores here. You see that? Oh, yes. The pollen, yep. they're the ones that you see coming in with it on their legs. Yes. They put that there. Oh, okay. And they feed that to their babies. Okay. They mix it with, oh, that's a big drone there. See that? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Oh! What did you do that for? It's <laughs> <laughs> the fastest way to get honey. Oh. Cut out the middleman. <laughs> oh, poor drone. <laughs> I, I just I just wet his hair for him, that's yeah. all. No, still can't see the queen, but we won't waste too much time. No, she's no, they'll get blown away. Oh there she is. Look at that. See if you can find her. Okay. Try the middle. Try the centre. Dead centre. Oh right here. No. No. You're close, you're warm. Yeah. Oh there she is, yes. Yeah. Yes. Ah, good. Yeah, I've read that they don't like the light. No, and, they don't like the light. Keep sort of running away from it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. In fact, she's disappeared. Yeah, she short. went under there. Oh, she's back out. It's going to bring you over to show the coin. And here she is, right there. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, got her. She's a very good girl. She's got a lovely little family here. Oh, my goodness. To think there was only two frames of bees. Mm. Watch those. those just in th just in yeah. three weeks. I can't believe that. Well, you're such a good host, you see. <laughs> I do talk to them nicely. I'm not going to pull this one out. Not... It's insane. So the flow of people have been seeing that. This is the western base of the hive and this was a, a frame that had nothing other than the little things. And it's really like simple, we draw on that out. They've got pollen stores around the top and um, and brood all in three weeks. That is amazing. Alright, we're gonna put them to bed now. Okay, now if you'd like to go and get the, the honey the, the honey super, just mine and my cord there. Yes. Okay. Yes. You got it orientated the right way? Queen excluder goes on now. She don't want brood up in the honey super. Yep, and goes that way. It goes this way. It's pretty heavy, isn't it? Oh, it's well built. 
I did get it slightly out of out of square. Okay. I think this one is squarer than the bottom one. No, you've done well. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one on here. Um, just just chewing off. Chewing off. I don't think we need to put that stone on there anymore. No, they've sealed it. What clever little bees. Uh, oh, sorry. That's, that's the front. Yeah. yeah, so what you need is another... Another hook. Yeah, well, yeah, you've, you've, you've got the hook. Yeah, another eye. Yeah, you need another eye. Oh, no, I need the hook and another eye. No, oh, yes. I need a hook on the top box. Yes, yeah. need it hook on the top box. That's something you can do later. Well, that's good. I don't know that that's on. Okay. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Oh no, that's, that's it. It just went then. Right, right. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> they've done well, Peter. They've done well, have they? <laughs> no, they've just about filled the box. Have they? It's amazing. Yeah, good sir. Yeah. Peter's a bit shy, he's just out of view here, but he's, a, he's actually one of Australia's leading jockeys. <laughs> All right. See, so when we, we do it, we turn this and that sits down on there. Yep. Coralie purchased a flow hive some months ago, and three weeks ago, or a little bit more, um, I caught a swarm and gave to her and today we just did the first inspection a three week inspection they've put on amazing amazing progress it's just been a wonderful spring year in Australia so I think you find that interesting anyone with a flow hive I, I found it particularly interesting how much they'd built on the, on the little cleats. I originally only serviced her with uh, two frames of bees. Um, and in three weeks, they've basically filled up the whole brood box. Interestingly, starting from the western side, the warmest side, and, and that, that particular frame, which only originally had a cleat at the top, full, full to the bottom of the frame. With, with brood and pollen stores around the top. So Coralie was very excited to see that. She's a bit of a new time nervous beekeeper. And um, but as time goes on she'll get she'll get more confidence and uh, I was really happy to be able to help her. Anyway, um, that's about it. This will be the episode, I'm not sure which, but it'll be called the racing bees because as you can tell there's a bit of a racing theme going on here. All right, over and out. Jim from Country Contacts. Thank you. See you next time.